There are eight mysterious holes that are leaving the science world speechless. So we're going to talk about all of them, starting with the deepest one here. If you go on Google Earth and you type in the Kohler borehole, you'll be surprised to know that hidden beneath this derelict building site is the world's deepest hole. Underneath the rubble is a rusted pizza-sized disc bolted to the earth. And it is here that Russian scientists quite literally left their mark on the world. In 1970, during a period of scientific rivalry between the superpowers, there were countries that were seeking to make the craziest discoveries in technology, space and earth. During that time, Russia began the race to be the first to reach the centre of the earth. However, what they supposedly found made them abandon this project and weld up their discovery never to be opened again. Before we investigate the rumours and listen to the rather terrifying recording, let's first deal with the concrete facts. This hole took 24 years to dig and at 7.5 miles deep it invades one third of the Earth's crust. It's so deep that if the unthinkable should happen and you accidentally would fall down that hole it would take you three minutes before you hit the bottom. But don't panic too much because the likelihood of this happening is nearly impossible as it's only 23 centimeters wide, about the size of the average shoe. But here's the crazy part. Apparently, as the drill broke through a hollow area of the Earth's crust, it malfunctioned. So they pulled it back up to the surface and it was glowing a sort of red hot colour. While all of this was happening, the scientists could hear the faintest sounds of screams. So what did they do? They decided to lower a state-of-the-art microphone down the hole. This microphone could withstand very hot temperatures, but get this, it melted after 17 seconds. It was actually long enough for them to capture something, and what they did capture made half the team quit right away on the spot. Before we listen to this recording, I do need to give you two warnings. The first one is this. Truth is very important to me on this YouTube channel, so we do actually need to discuss whether these recordings are legit or not. And number two, I want you to know that the first time I listened to this recording, it did actually scare me, and I'm not easily troubled. So for some of you, I'm not saying this for dramatic effect, but for some of you, it might be wise for you to skip this part of the video. So, what do you think? Do you think the recording is legit? Well, there's more. As the melted microphone ascended to the surface, so did a plume of smoke, and out of this black cloud emerged a large bat-like creature with the words, I have conquered, on the wings. In 1989, another detail from this story came out into the public, as apparently a member of the team snitched on the others claiming that they were not drilling for scientific purposes, but instead they were searching for hell. He claims that initially on another unrelated project, the Russians had accidentally discovered it in Serbia, and so they wanted to explore this even further. But whatever the truth is, there's one thing we can be certain of. Ever since then, this hole has been famously called the well to hell. Between you and me, there is actually another side to this story. A Norwegian gentleman wanted to play a prank on Christians to prove that they are not only born again, but they're also born yesterday. So what he did is he emailed a recording from a 1972 vintage movie called Barren Blood, and he gave it to a Christian TV station called TBN, and he waited to see how many gullible Christians would eat it up. Sure enough, in 1989, TBN aired a show, Scientists Discovered Hell, and their story made not just waves in the Christian world, but also in the newspapers, and even Art Bell's rather curious show, 10 years later, made an episode about it in 1998. But guys, people are still massively divided on whether these recordings are legit, because they believe that the recordings at the Kohler borehole are completely different to the recordings in the film Barren Blood. I genuinely want to know, what do you think about this? Do you think that it's utter nonsense? Or do you think that the Russians really did stumble upon something? Well, there's one thing I do know, and it's this. History, right now as we speak, is repeating itself, because China has started something that has really got the internet going crazy. In 2021, President Xi Jinping 
commanded a group of scientists to begin work on digging a six mile deep hole into the Earth's crust. All in the name of science. The hole will be so deep that you could fit 26 Empire State Buildings in it. And it's also no secret that whatever China is looking for, they will find fast. As unlike the Russian borehole, their drill will not take 24 years. The project, which started in June 2023, plans to be completed exactly 457 days later. That's of course if their drill can withstand the 180 degrees heat, which kept being a problem for the Russians' equipment. The third mysterious hole on our list is the Kimberley Diamond Mine, located in South Africa. This mine, which is 790 feet deep, was dug by sheer manpower using just picks and shovels, but it did take 50,000 men to do it, and they dug from the years 1871 to 1914, and in that time, guess how many diamonds they discovered? Over 13 million diamond carrots, including potentially the world's most famous diamond, the Cullion, which is encrusted in the crown of jewels in my country, England. You may already know about the huge experiment that's happening in Antarctica right now, but in case you didn't, it's called the Ice Cube Neutrino. Put simply, scientists are using hot water drills with the purpose of observing the cosmos from deep within the ice sheets. Once beneath the ice, scientists are using a large detector called Ice Cube, which is searching for tiny neutrinos which are created by cosmic events like a supernova or even a black hole. And scientists believe that these little particles help us to understand the universe in ways we thought we never could. Our fifth hole gets the Graham Hancocks of the world talking, as people believe it provides evidence of a lost civilization. The Deep Blue Hole, located in Belize, Central America, is a large underwater sinkhole, and mainstream scientists believe it was a limestone cave system which collapsed once the sea levels began to rise and the caves flooded. Okay, let's ask the obvious question here. Why is it that people believe that this beautiful diving destination could have another backstory? Well, word on the street is because the blue hole is so circular, because it's carved out so precisely, people claim there's no way that nature could do this. No, this is a man-made structure and maybe it's even a portal to another dimension. And before the the seawater covered it, it was the entrance to a lost city. Whilst there's no evidence to back up all of this hearsay, no one can deny the reality of our next curious hole, the Berkeley Pit. This copper mine located in Montana was opened in 1955 and for the next 27 years it produced a whopping 1.3 billion tons of copper ore. You might be thinking, this hole is comparatively boring, Joe, compared to the other ones that we've looked at. But actually, people will pay $3 today to go and visit it. Why? Well, since the mine closed, groundwater quickly filled it in, producing a very turquoise-coloured lake, which, by the way, is unhealthily acidic. And wildlife conservationists here have to provide round-the-clock care to prevent birds from landing in the water, as it has been known that thousands of birds have lost their lives in this lake. We're down to the second to last hole, which is arguably the most satisfying to look at. Lake Berryessa is the sinkhole which has captivated the eyes of many tourists. The way it works is when the water levels begin to rise, the concrete sinkhole is able to stop water from overflowing. It's actually capable of discharging up to 48,000 cubits of water per second. And many YouTubers have made videos by throwing different objects objects into the sinkhole to see whether they'd survive or not, including an iPhone. And yes, it did survive. Okay, number eight is by far the most mysterious hole on our list, because this hole is in the unseen realm. This hole cannot be seen by the land of the living, but it belongs to the dead. What is this hole's name? It is called the Bottomless Pit, or also known as the Abyss. Before we go any further, I need you to know that this pit is not empty and one day it will be opened. And I wonder what goes through your mind as you hear that, as I tell you there is a place that has no base, no floor. So in other words, if you ever enter into this bottomless pit, you'll be forever falling, forever and ever. No rest, no peace, just falling. But it's what's inside that will make your stomach turn. 
The inhabitants of the bottomless pit are the most evil, unthinkable beings that even the most darkened mind could never fathom. And these evil creatures have a king called Abaddon, who some believe is a separate spirit, whilst others, myself included, believe that Abaddon, his other name is Apollyon, is actually Satan himself. We know that from this bottomless pit, Satan's right hand man will rise, and he is going to be the one who is going to rule the world until Jesus defeats him. We know that this pit is so frightening that when Jesus rebuked the evil spirit legion that was inside a man, they begged Christ to allow them to enter into a herd of pigs, rather than being sent back to the abyss. That sentence alone teaches us so much. Firstly, there is a place that is so terrifying that a pack of these wicked evil beings are saying, please don't send us there. And then the second thing is this, it shows us that if God is willing to have mercy on these evil things, how much more will he want to give mercy to you if you come to him in faith? Now, please don't misunderstand me. These evil creatures will never find salvation. They had their opportunity and they were cast out of heaven. They once had a chance to be with God for all of eternity and they wrecked it. But that's not the situation you're in. Right now, you have a window of opportunity. Right now, you have a chance to find salvation in Jesus Christ. But some of you are too proud and I wish that you would come to a place where you would fear the one who is going to cast legion, Satan, all of these evil beings into the bottomless pit. And then from there, he will put them in the lake of fire. And that lake of fire is the place you might just be destined to if you have also declined the offer of Jesus Christ, redemption and forgiveness. Regardless of how safe or secure you might feel, you have dug for yourself a very deep hole. And the tool you have used is a sin-shaped shovel. So today, remember, there is only one who can deliver you from this pit, and his name is Jesus Christ. Why is Jesus the only one who can deliver you? Because he is the only one to descend into the depths of Sheol, the grave, Hades, and he's the only one to come out victorious on the other side. The Bible says, now this, he ascended. What does it mean? But that he first descended into the lower parts of the earth. But not only did he descend into the lower regions, but he also preached to the spirits that were imprisoned there. The Bible says, by whom also he preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient when once the divine long suffering waited in the days of Noah. And after preaching, he set free many captives which were held there. Therefore he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. We're talking about some deep stuff here, quite literally. But essentially, before Jesus died on the cross, before the legal transaction of all of the sins of the world were transferred into Christ's body, before he was punished for our sin, there was only a covering of sin. That's what all of those sin offerings in the Old Testament were all about. They could only cover sin. But when Jesus was crucified, there was actually now a final putting away of sin. Now Christ has buried our sins at the bottom of the ocean if we come to him in faith. It was dealt with totally. The debt was paid. The account was settled in his very blood. So not only are those today who put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, not only can they receive the gift of eternal life and redemption, of sins, but also those before in the Old Testament, those who put their faith in the Messiah prior to the death of Christ, they too now can be free. They too have been unbound from the grips of Sheol. Why? Because who the Son sets free is free indeed. Jesus truly is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because he is co-equal with the Father, he also has authority over heaven. That is his home, that is the place where he has come from. Now, when his spirit stepped into a body in the incarnation, when he took on a skin, he proved that he also has total authority over the earth. When he too was placed in a dark hole, placed in a pit, dead, lifeless, in utter gloom. When a tombstone was rolled over to lock him into this misery, he showed the world just who he was when he climbed out of this hole, wrestling death to the ground 
and defeating it. Oh my dear friends, you cannot escape the reality that Jesus Christ is the most powerful person in the universe. He has authority in the highest realm of heaven, he has authority in our earthly realm, and he has authority in the lowest realm beneath the earth. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the boss over the unseen and the seen. And the question does need to be asked, why do you, O oh little man, O oh little woman, why do you refuse to bow the knee and come to him in faith? Why do you not fear God? That's what I want to ask you right now. Because you should fear the one who all the legion of these evil beings were terrified of. The one who is going to throw Satan himself into the bottomless pit. The one who has made these deep, big, wonderful things of the universe. And the one who one day could cast you and all of these evil things into the lake of fire. Why do you not fear him? Not in a fear where you're terrified and you're a shaking wreck, but a fear where you respect him, you revere that this is the one who holds on to my very heartbeats. This is the one who has given me life. But God also wants you to love him because he loves you. That's what the cross was all about. That's why he wanted to buy you back when he died on that cross for your sins. And I plead with you right now to come to him. Because right now, whether you know it or not, you are in a hole. Maybe you're in a hole of despair. Maybe you're just in a hole of sin or a hole where you can't even see. But the Bible does make a promise that God will reach down and he'll pull you out of that dark hole where you've been there so long that it's, it's all dirty. It's like miry clay. He'll pull you out of that miry clay and he'll put you on a solid rock and establish you a rock that is built in Christ and I long for you to find that today for you to come to him I want you to be able to sing this hymn and it goes like this from sinking sand he lifted me with tender hand he lifted me from shades of night to plains of light oh praise his name he lifted me and my prayer is that you would also be able to say, Christ Jesus has lifted me and saved me. One more thing. One of the problems with these scientists is they like to dig these big holes and then they fall into them. But did you know there is a technological hole that every single one of us is about to fall into? And if you want to know all about this, watch this video right away.